Stand your ground. Just what does that mean? Stand your ground. The law at the center of the Trayvon Martin tragedy is now really under the microscope, not only in Florida, but all across the country. Stand your ground allowed George Zimmerman to shoot and kill an unarmed teenager, call it self-defense, and walk away a free man. So how did Florida and over a dozen other states enact such legislation? Well, like anything else, you just have to follow the money. Mother Jones reports the NRA gave over $73,000 in campaign donations to 43 Florida legislators who backed Stand Your Ground over a nine-year period. The NRA then doubled down with an intense lobbying effort, followed by an additional cash spent to guarantee the bill's introduction and passage. Florida Governor Jeb Bush signed the law stand your ground into law with a lobbyist from the NRA at the side and that is Marion Hammer no surprise there Hammer didn't stop she helped save Florida stand your ground law into one of the most aggressive gun right laws in the country and was instrumental in its passage here's what she had to say about it just a few years back I heard somebody say one time we don't shoot to kill we shoot to live and that's what it's all about, being able to protect yourself when you're under threat of death or great bodily harm. But now some of the legislators who supported Stand Your Ground are saying the law needs another look. The number of so-called justified killings has risen since Stand Your Ground was enacted. Florida Department of Law Enforcement statistics show that before Stand Your Ground, there were about 13 so-called justified killings each year. That number has since risen to 36 justified killings each year. Justified killing. Think about that. How many more Trayvon Martins will there be until the laws are changed? That's The Ed Show. I'm Ed Schultz.